back at square one after a Phoenix hospital reversed a decision to provide life support for the 14 year old son. But now the hospital is speaking out, saying the patient's mother didn't tell them the whole truth. Team Tall's Matt Uris reports. Bobby Reyes suffered a severe asthma attack and cardiac arrest in mid-September. In the time since, the 14-year-old has been in the University of Michigan's ICU with a ventilator and feeding tube. The hospital reportedly tried to declare him brain dead and wanted him discharged by Friday, October 11th. Allegiant Healthcare here in Phoenix was willing to admit him because the mother only requested end-of-life care. That is according to Allegiant Healthcare's medical director. He then got on the phone with his counterparts in Michigan. And we found out that it was a different scenario, that this child's mother was not ready to let go. This child's mother, in fact, wanted this child to be brought here for ongoing care that we were not capable of delivering. The doctor went on to explain that upon arrival, Bobby would have to be sent to a different hospital to determine if he was, in fact, brain dead. And then I would be in the same position medically that the doctors in Michigan are in now to define death. If the mother was not allowing that to happen in Michigan, why would she allow it to happen here? As to whether or not Bobby may ultimately make it to Allegiant Healthcare, the doctor didn't rule it out. If this child showed any improvement from a neurologic standpoint, I would move this child here that next day. UM is reportedly not going to pull the plug for at least another week. Matt Uris, 12 News. 12 News has reached out to the family to check if there have been any updates. We have no word yet, but we will keep you posted in the app.